incomparable Miss Super Superwoman herself, Miss Nikki Owen in the building. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> with your fan base though. Of course, yes, I have to be. <laughs> um, I remember a couple of years ago there was like a storm. And we, me and one of my foot me, me and one of my fans were playing Pac-Man online. <gasps> I love Pac-Man. I love it. Like so, um, he loves Pac-Man. I like interacting with my fans. I like to know who they are. I like to know, you know, what they like. So I know what to get. You know? So tell us, because you've been promoting it lately, who is Nikki Owens? Mm. Oh my God, there is so much to who Nikki Owens is. Um, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I am an actress. <laughs> um, I am, God has blessed me with quite a few gifts and I love everything. <laughs> How are you managing your time right now? Because, you know, as you, we all know, this is also Farrah from Lips. <laughs> She's also on Black Panty. Yes. Man, huh? Yes. <laughs> Should I get you more if I make if I get it clear? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I am I do play Farrah on Lips. Um, shout out to all the Lips fans. <laughs> um, I'm also a part of another web series called Black Panty. Um I'm, I'm, we're about to start shooting another one called Manhunt. <laughs> Um, so I've been working, I've been busy. I'm currently working on my album as well. So I stay busy. <laughs> you wonder why I don't sleep much, guys? Yes. <laughs> but, you know why you don't sleep much. But I'm not acting as the manager today, I'm acting as a journalist. I kind of switch tracks today. Uh, so for all I know, I don't know them, technically. <laughs> but mind you, we just had like margaritas and shit at Mad Donkey. It's okay though. And shout out to the cast and crew of Lips. I miss y'all. <laughs> what up, Ty? It was a pretty lit interview, though, when they came. I know. I miss it. I you, you were watching it, though. We missed poor Dominique. And Nicole was here. And yes, Dominique. Shout out to Dominique. <laughs> shout out to Alicia. Shout out to Exile. Shout out to everybody. Oh, Malachi. Shout out to <laughs> Andrew. Dominique. Tasha. Um, Precious Paris, everybody, like, oh my god, the cast this season was amazing. I mean, the first, the first season was good, but we turned up. <laughs> I can tell. I'm sorry, how you were in the second season was honestly my favorite. Especially, like, you already know what Shane I love for the second <laughs> yeah. season, too. I'm sorry, you, you called, you called Dominique's character out so badly. Oh. Like, she was that <laughs> cheating hoe. <laughs> Like, oh, what, you're pregnant, too? I was waiting for that. That was, like, one of, <laughs> one of my favorite scenes. And I made sure I had my I Came to Slay hat on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was ready for that. I was mm -hmm. ready for it. Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite scenes in season two. No one was fucking with you that day. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to ask on a personal level, because we all know that the story of Lips came from the creator struggle. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to play the role of the of technically Michelle's mom. Oh my god. Um, it was kind of difficult because reading the script and you know hearing from her uh, her story as a parent myself I can't you know I couldn't fathom something like that happen to her and it was kind of hard for me to play Farrah because I was such in disagreement with her choice but um, this is what we do you know and to bring the story out, you gotta, you gotta come with, come from within. And um, as far as uh, Farrah is concerned, there are some things with Farrah relationship-wise that I can identify with. So you know, um, I just had to just 
dig deep and kind of just pull within. And that's how I found it. That's how she came about. Mm-hmm. It is a great story, though. It, I mean, you learn a lot. It has um, touched a lot of people. You know, um, a lot of people can identify with it. Um, in season two, at Farrah is hated, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? How do you, how do you as a parent make a decision like that? You know, it's I couldn't, I couldn't see myself doing it. I would never do anything like that. And you know, to see the feedback from everybody, it was it was very interesting. I learned a lot working on this. Um, it was it was quite a quite an experience. So, what can you take from? Is your your overall experience from acting because it's obviously different from your experience with music. Yeah, they. I mean, but they they tie in together together because I mean, with acting, just like music, you need to come from your emotions or within or from a place, some type of place that you identify with as well as other people. So it kind of intertwines together. Um, I think. I've been doing this since I was little, so <laughs> it, it comes natural. Um, but yet, I'm still learning certain techniques and things like that. So I guess I, I pull a little bit from each area. You know, when I'm trying to get into character, you gotta pull from. I, I like to pull from music. Um, so, like I said, it is So, you are I apologize with my down, keep going off and turn your wrist off. Kill me. <laughs> um, now with that, you, you've been more in the actor's eye lately, but now recently you say you want to make an emergency into music. Uh, well, I started this in music. Um, well, you, you started in music, but it's shown lately when doing research on you mm-hmm. that you've been more in your act in your, in your acting. That's what I've been up to lately. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So what made you now want to come back into music? Music has never gone away. It's it's always been a part of me. Um, and it will never go away. Um, I feel like I wanted to join both fan bases because there is a Nicki O music fan base and then there is a Nicki O music actress. Uh, fan base and I want them to get to know each other and know that there's more to me than just singing and there's more than just acting. Um, music is my first love so I, I, there's no question in doing it. Um, I did get away from it for a little while but I'm back and I got some great stuff and I'm excited to play it for everyone. Um, I'm still blown away by the reception for the first single um, still really love it. They call it the throwback. I felt good about that. <laughs> but um, for the most part, um, music has, hasn't gone away. Really, I'm still working on it, working on the album. And we'll be premiering the single tonight featuring Exile. So the single that we just played, mm-hmm. how long ago was that? Uh, it debuted uh, June 12th, 2012. Wow. Yeah. Well then. So what is your secret to having still such a, I guess, clout with it? I mean, when people love you, they love you. you know, they <laughs> you. And I'm not trying to be conceited or anything. I love music. I love artists. And I love when they do what they do. And when people love you, they will show you. You know, um, there's always those those singers that, you know, those sounds or whatever that never go away, that as soon as you hear it, you're like, oh my God, it just makes you feel a certain kind of way. And I'm I'm glad to know that I make people feel like that. I, I, I'm glad to know that people want to hear more of Nicki Owens. They want to see more of Nicki Owens. And so I'm going to give you that. So we're going to go into your other single, Not A Chance. Right, yeah. Is this a new single as no, well? No, it, uh, it, it was just a promotional record. It came out before um, Get With You. Um, Bad Luck Baz is actually the artist that is on the track with me. Um, I like Rick Ross's um, song initially, and I was like, I could do something to that, and so I did. Okay, so introduce it for us. 
song is called Not a Chance. Myself featuring Bad Luck Bad. And I hope you like it. Those of you who haven't heard it yet. <laughs> so first time on my Do I have your permission to send it to Ray Beauty? You can send it to Okay, me. Ray, remind me after the show to do it because I still got to send you that other track too. Shout out to to Dad Look Dads. He's performing with me on Saturday. I'm so excited. Nice. <laughs> we got juicy stuff for you for the give back. Oh, boy. So, before we do talk about the give back, tell us about the new album. What do we have to expect from you? Is it going to be like a change from what we're hearing right now? Um, I'm an R&B singer. I love 90s R&B. I love 80s R&B, 70s R&B. So you're gonna get a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I know you mentioned to me when we first actually spoke and everything, you wanna make more of a transformation from what Nikki Owens was as a singer back then to what you wanna do now. So what is your goal now as an artist? Like you trying to change I guess image wise or however you wanna be perceived. Um as an artist, I just want people to see me as what I do, and that's an actress and a singer. Yeah. You know, I want them to accept me as both, um, and and that's that's what my career is, pretty much. Um, I, you know, when I first came out, it was just Nikki O, so now it's just it's my whole it's Nikki Owens. Um, I feel like I've grown since I first came out with my first single. And then, like you said, I'm into acting now, so um, just pretty much um, letting everybody see, you know, what I'm doing, pretty much. And like I said, it's just acting and it's saying, it's, it's what I do. There you go. <laughs> okay. Do, so tell us about the features for the album. We already know Exile's going to be on it. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, right now, he is the only feature on the album for right now. Um, All right, lucky boy, I see you. <laughs> okay, man. For right now, he's the only one. Um, I'm still um, finishing up some songs, so it's going to be kind of a surprise. So do you have a specific writing process? Um, I write every day. Every day. Like I a journal or just writing lyrics? Off the, off the top of my head, in my phone, on paper. I write um, even in my voice notes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I do the same thing. Like I get inspiration from so many different things, and I just put those ideas down. And I might not finish it. I might have to come back to it. But there are certain things that, when I feel it really deeply in my spirit, it just comes. It just flows. So that's that's pretty much the pro- process. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing complicated. <laughs> you know what? There's some people, especially R&B singers, that feel like they are, have like this ex- whole inner body process, trying to create. They like spend themselves in the studio doing something, go shit, trying to cut their ear or whatever. Cause like that's how. No, but that's how hard they go for the music and they strut. Sure. Yeah. No. Sure, no, that's you a know. Fact. Yeah. Wow. That's a fact. I mean, I like to take my experiences and put them in my songs. Um, not, and not just my experiences, also the experiences of people that I've known or things that I've seen. But I don't have anything, any crazy process or anything like that. I just go with what go with what my soul loves, you know, or what I feel. And stuff. That's it. That's it. Okay. So you're performing. Well, you've already performed at the Shillelagh. For my birthday, yeah. alongside live Scorpio P as well as mm-hmm. Exile, how does it feel to be performing? Because like once again, you're now coming back. Well, even though you never left, you're reemerging. How does it feel to perform perform after so long? Um, I was nervous at first because mm-hmm. of I, I haven't sung in a very long time. <laughs> but it's like once you get up there and the reception from the people, the love that they show, it's it, makes you more comfortable and it makes you feel like you know what i still got it <laughs> so i really enjoyed um performing and i enjoyed seeing the other performances as well mm. so yeah i got his take on how he felt about performing at the give back but how do you feel about performing for the first time in the give back 
I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. Okay. So, Stamble Fact, you're going to have a write-up, too, um, where we can go more in-depth about you. Mm -hmm. You know, but we wanted to start today by getting the who is Nikki O. Because you're doing a whole campaign around it, right? Yes, a whole campaign. I want everybody to get to know who I am. Actress, singer, songwriter. I want you to know who I am. You know, wherever you go and you see her, hashtag who is Nikki O. That's right. Hashtag. hashtag. Make sure you follow me everywhere. <laughs> I haven't posted enough today about everywhere. her. Everywhere. You haven't followed her right now. But, um, you got a new track. Yo, before we get into this new track, let me shout out some people real quick. <laughs> oh, boy. Shout out to the cast of Black Panties. Miss Fran, um, the little redhead girl. Oh, Jocelyn, <laughs> shout out to y'all, shout out to the cast of Manhunt, um, shout out to the cast of Rhonda Mitchell MD, make sure that you watch these shows because these are some really, really good shows and I'm excited to be a part of them, um, shout out to, um, Live. <laughs> no, he's been waiting for that. He's like, I'm waiting for Nikki to show me out. <laughs> I've known live for a very long time. A lot of people don't know. We did um, Rip the Stage yeah. Yeah, a few years ago. It was so dope. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how we met. Um, and I've always thought he was a dope artist, though. So, like, I was excited to work with him. Definitely. <laughs> um. Shout out to Keys, who is my engineer uh, slash producer. Producer, he also helped cultivate the Nicki Owens sound. So shout out to him. Um, shout out to Scarecrow Beats for um, also <laughs> also producing um, the new single. Um, shout out to O'Brien Music for producing uh, Get With You. Um, and you guys just have no idea this album is <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm really excited. Do you have a theme for the album? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. I, I have two. I have two ideas. Ooh, dish, dish, dish. No, 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 no. Get this after the warfare. <laughs> Later. <laughs> okay, so tell us the whole inspiration with what if. Um, what if is that story? You meet that person, and you're like. You know, what if this could have worked between us? What if, what if we got into this relationship and it goes well? Or, you know, what if it doesn't go well? You know, um, there's a lot of insecurity. <laughs> um, some people are afraid, afraid of rejection. Some people um, are afraid to get in relationships because they don't feel as a person they're ready. Um, their flaws or for things like that. So I wanted to write about that. You know, I wanted to write about that feeling of what if, what if you and I got together and we did this thing. And um, it was just such a dope, it was just so dope the way it came together. And I heard, I actually heard Exile on this track and I was like, dude, you have to do this record with me. Mm. So when he went in the booth, I was like, oh my God. It, it's like, you know when something is gonna work and when it's gonna come together and it was just, Amazing. So All shout out right. to Exile. Thank you so much for this. I appreciate you. It's a really dope record, and tonight we're premiering it, and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Please call in and tell us what you thought about it. We'll drop it in the Monday Night in your live feed. We 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 appreciate feedback. Yes, we do. We're not assholes. Well, maybe live is. <laughs> but, um, you said it like five times on this record, so sure. <laughs> shout out to Michelle, the creator of the <coughs> Hi, oh, boo. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right, so introduce it for us. The name of the single is called What If, featuring Exile. I hope you like it. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, X, if you listening, you gotta do shit like this. <laughs> so the thing is dropping on Friday everywhere. Oh <laughs> shit, make sure y'all Friday. Make sure y'all cop that. Cop that everywhere. Oh yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I'm 
get your shit together and get that trash. Shout out to everybody on Instagram. My little sister is on Instagram. What up, Liz? And shout out to everyone on the feed right now. Hi, everybody. Nico Tesla wrote fire, fire, fire. Nikki, you got a smash. Thank you. Kendall Hutchinson from the South said this track is definitely fire. You got that summertime feel. Thanks. You got an I Love You Nikki from Ray Fing. Hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. Hi, Coney. I'm, I'm even pronouncing his right name all Wait, wrong. Wait, let me say it like the way the How fame says it. Wait, mm-hmm. let me do the same way. We love you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all back. <laughs> oh, his got Fimby. Right. You got Fimby. Shout out to all the Nikki Owens fans. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love y'all no, from the bottom of my heart. You are amazing. <laughs> we love you, Nikki. You Thank you. Shout out to my family. I know y'all watching. Shout out to my bestest friends and my children and my mama and everybody. Shout out to y'all. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to them. I, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. To my love. Where can they find you? Because we have one more giant that we have to go interview after this. Um, you can find me everywhere. I am on Twitter. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook. I am on SoundCloud. I am on iTunes. If you want to see the Nikki O video for Get With You, please go see my um, go to my YouTube Nikki O TV um, and watch the video. Shout out to Alicia who's going to shoot the video for what it is. I'm so excited. Like, I'm really excited. So don't catch me anywhere in the month of in the month of August. But um, my love, thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate we're gonna, it. We're gonna we're gonna have some this week. Yes, we got a long week ahead of us. <laughs> you know. Lord have mercy. Oh yeah. Friday we're gonna be at DNC after dark, interviewing with DJC Murder and the gang, talking about the give back as well as officially drop the you know the single and talk about it. Uh, Saturday we're gonna be at the Give Back show. Sunday we're going to Brooklyn for Bobby Ashley's uh, premiere of yeah. the last episode of The Avenue. Yeah. Uh, so you want to find us? We're gonna be moving around. Yeah. But um, oh, and also just make sure y'all go and check out Lips. Make sure you check out Black Panties. Stay and tuned donate. for Manhunt. <laughs> donate. Help your independent show. Yes. Word. Um, yes. Like, we always talk about give back to the independent artists. Like, give back to the web series. Because, no lie, they're starting to look way better than the show you watch on TV. Fact. Yes. Um, so, make sure you check out.